I'm from Older to Beach, Maine. Anti-tobacco advocacy is an important thing to me because I really care about trying to stop outdoor secondhand smoke exposure. And I'm also an advocate for the environment. It's really terrible to see all the litter and everybody on the beach being affected by the secondhand smoke. Two years ago at the Maine Youth Anti-Tobacco Summit, I was with three other girls and we came up with an award-winning action plan to make beaches in Old Orchard Beach tobacco free. We surveyed a couple hundred people and we found actually 88% of all the people would be in support of a tobacco free beach. After passing this resolution in Old Orchard Beach, today I'm actually going to start and try to develop a similar policy for Saco. To go from you know, a young person just saying, I don't know what to do, to being the one really inspiring adults across the state. Uh, yeah, she's amazing. My name is Judy Howe and I'm from Richmond, Virginia. And tobacco advocacy has been really important to me since a young age. I feel like a lot of times it's really important for youth to actually be the ones involved in advocacy. The Meltdown campaign began in 2009 and it was one of our campaigns that sought to look at the dangers specifically of smokeless and spit-free tobacco products. And we looked at how packaging as well as flavoring affected the perceptions of youth across Virginia. So I felt like it was really important for me to reach out to the teens of Virginia because if they don't pick up the product to begin with, then it's very likely that later on they're never going to smoke that. The great thing that Judy's been able to show is that teenagers can make a difference by creating awareness and by um, really putting their passions into campaigns, particularly for something like tobacco prevention. I think winning this award is a really big honor and it allows me to further my youth advocacy work by meeting with other top youth advocates in the nation. My name is Jordan McCarry and I'm from La Crosse, Wisconsin. I've been involved with tobacco prevention and control for six years. To raise awareness both the Wisconsin Clean Air Act, we just did several things to let our legislators know that there's not just a small minority of people who want to go smoke free, but it's the majority of the state that wants to go smoke free. And we were successful with the passing of Wisconsin Smoke Free Air Law in 2009. Jordy believes in, in making change happen, um, not just in, in La Crosse or in her school, she takes that on a statewide level. She is often a better advocate than many of our adults in our coalition. I think it's important for youth to be involved in tobacco advocacy because we are the ones being targeted. My name is Natani Bahazroni Hatafli. I'm from Kirtland, New Mexico. Kirtland is a primarily a Native American community. And the tobacco issue is very important because I don't think there's enough clarification between the ceremonial use of tobacco, um, our sacred tobacco we use for prayer, and the commercial tobacco that's deadly. Native Americans have the highest percentage of tobacco use than any other ethnic group. Our In the Clear campaign focused on secondhand smoke. Not a lot of people are aware that just because it's secondhand smoke doesn't mean that it's secondhand danger. Natani's a leader in this school and he impacts students with everything he does. He's a very positive person and things that are important to him comes from his heart and you can see that. My Navajo ancestors who faced a lot of trials uh, really inspired me. So I feel that history has really made me ready and I'm ready to make history. 